Hello DVR, I'm Lee Suss and welcome to Hard Truck Apocalypse, a game that I found a little bit hard to to define as far as a particular genre. So um, we, we're, we, it's an apocalypse type game, post-apocalypse, and we have a truck like is visible on the screen here. We're going to be driving around and doing stuff and it's it's got a bit of a mad maxi feel to it, I'd say from looking at it, but really in truth it's more like Mad Max meets Euro Truck Simulator. It's not a particularly especially fast-paced or hectic game. I find it kind of relaxing actually. It's, we're going to be driving around, exploring and occasionally shooting other trucks that want to want to bother us. Otherwise, you know, driving around, seeing new places, uh, delivering goods around for, for, for money because that's the best way to make money in the game. It's an odd one. I'm not even sure how old the game is. It is unfortunately in a terrible ratio. A 4-3 ratio. We're going to have big black bars down the side. And I've played with the game as much as I can to try and make it work. And it doesn't want to. It really doesn't want to. So I'm doing the best I can. It's been a while since I've uploaded the game in that ratio. Um, but there you go. Should we just get started? We can hear a little bit about the apocalypse. Also, I would say that the, the, the English in the game is a bit broken. I just add to the charm for it. As far as I'm concerned. Just, just to let you know that. History hasn't kept any certain facts about the Dark Ages that followed the Cataclysm. One thing is sure. The thing that saved all humans was a face mask. The creation of an unknown genius protected people from the contaminated air and equalized everyone. This thin barrier between life and imminent death became the symbol of new humanity. Masks united people and gave them strength to fight for the future. New settlements were founded, far from old cities that had become common graves. Little by little, small groups of survivors established trade relations between each other. Simple professions like miners, farmers, traders were in demand. Hard work made people forget about the horrors of the past. But nothing can change the nature of man. At all times, there were people who saved oh, the changes. wisdom to share it with others. Also, there were other ones who preferred chaos and destruction above all. Thank you, Exposition Man. Very nice of you. Let's have a little view now. Rise right? and shine. Our farm. I have good news for you on your birthday. Is it a pony, Dad? Do I get a pony? Oh, are you going to ask me to push a button to continue? Good morning, yes. Father. I'm all ears. It's a great day for both of us. You're an adult now, and may do whatever you want. As long as it's driving a truck. <laughs> are we, are we going to progress the dialogue? Of course. There we go. You better ask your father's permission. <laughs> Mine, in your case. Do you see this truck? It's yours no, It's now. off the screen. I can't see it yet. I cannot believe it. I'm finally allowed to drive alone. I mean, thank you, sir. Father, sir. Yes, but first... Wow, I will go to the very edge of the world. <laughs> he didn't tell us what to do. <laughs> yes, if you're not afraid to fall over. But first, you must go to South and deliver this package to okay, Sir, Dad. a friend of mine. Test your driving skills and return immediately. Your wish, my command. There we go. As I said, the English, a bit broken. I think we're translating from Russian or something similar. Uh, do you want to get hints on how to play? No, we're all right for now. I'm fine. Thank you, Thank you game. So, first of all, um, you may notice that the, the figures looked a bit weird that their faces were a bit odd. And I didn't realise at the start. When they said face masks, they didn't mean like what we're used to with, with COVID stuff. They meant a full face mask. Everyone's wearing a full face mask. That's right. Now, it's interesting because, you know, we are covering up our face. It did say about equalising people. I guess everyone looks the same depending on what your face mask looks like. You choose what your face looks like based upon your face mask. But why does it need to be a full face one? Do you have to wear them indoors? Outside, what does it matter? The air is poisonous apparently. And why is why is Dad wearing an old man face mask? Just because he's an old man. 
Let's not worry about it too much. It's it's an interesting idea. Maybe the, the, the developers were just having trouble animating faces. And this was the best way they could do it. I don't know. But there we go. Well, here's our truck. Trucks have got two parts to them. We've got a cab and a bag, which is basically just a flat bed with a bit on it, really. And we've got a little gun on top. See? A machine gun on top. Up on the top left, we have, in the top middle, we have green, which is our, our health of our of our truck, and blue, which is our fuel. And you can see a little map to the side, and we've got a marker, which is the orange marker. And sometimes we get side quests, which are purple on there as well, okay? And we've got to be careful. We're driving around is not too difficult. What, watch out for banging into things, because banging into things, into things is particularly damaging to the vehicle. I mean, slamming into that rock up there full speed would do a lot of damage, more than most of the guns I've seen in the game so far. But that's it, that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive around and collect some items. By the way, here's our inventory. So you can see our gun here, which looks like an upside down, down lollipop for some reason. Other bonuses we can pick up. We've got a little bit of money and we've got some space. This is our. This is what could be in the area and this is what can be in our, in our truck so we can carry some material. But right now, Dad just wants to drive around a bit and experience the open road. Is this always going to be the same? It looks like the same. It looks like the same map every single time. Well, there we go. Uh, fuel doesn't seem to be too much of a worry. I've never got that close to running out of fuel. There's lots of places to refill. In fact, over here there should be a petrol station, a gas station. Uh, falling in the drink, pretty much death, uh, as far as that goes. Well, there we go. We're going to drive to south, which is a place over here. No mention about what caused the apocalypse. Oh, hold on. We're going to deal with this first. We're going to deal with the other hazard of the game. You're going to die. Which is bandits. Now the game, the uh, combat in the game is pretty no. simple. No. It is, honest, honestly it is. You just drive up to someone and you shoot them. Uh, I found the best way is, is, is circling. Certain vehicles are, that was a very particularly weak, weak. Uh, little, little car thing there, but you know, some are some are better than others. Uh, we circling is usually the best way. Not all guns can operate on the back, so this one we can actually aim all the way backwards. Some vehicles can't aim backwards; the limitations. Some have multiple weapons, but essentially that's about as simple as it gets. It isn't too demanding. We've got some sort of dam over there. Yeah, no one's explained what the apocalypse actually was, apart from the poisonous air. But I guess that's maybe all we need. For now. Has the map actually changed? Map Gluck Ho is where we come from, apparently. Mmm, delightful. I think the map is the same every single time. Let's have a look. So, this is the petrol station. We can just be in here. If we honk our horn, it opens up the inventory and we can do a little bit of fuel. We can refill our fuel. There we go. We need a little bit more about our truck as well. We've got the two halves, the bug, and the throttle. And we can upgrade these later. There's our gun to get other things in there as well. Um, do I actually have any armour? I don't think I do in this one. No, other trucks have got armour in them. What's this? Max armour. Armour basically takes away from damage you're going to receive. There we go. But we shouldn't have too much trouble getting there. It's tutorial time, apart from anything else. But we'll have to see what changes up ahead. I know what I met the first time I played the game, and I played a little bit of it. The see roof what is on fire. What? Oh! Okay, so as the, the character makes odd comments. That's usually a comment about a vehicle being damaged at the roof being on fire. They might have gotten too close to the settlement, which certainly happens. Settlements have all got guns on them, so a, a, an enemy vehicle going near a settlement is usually pretty pretty dangerous for them. What we got there? We picked up something there. Potatoes. And a Have we picked up this one as well? We might have done. Okay, let's have a little look, look, look over into it. Yeah, we picked up a couple of things. So we picked up a Hornet machine gun. You occasionally find weapons on vehicles. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you a comparison. A lot of them seem very similar. You know, you'll, you'll occasionally meet one with a, with a bit of a, a descriptor on it, like Slow Hornet or Piercing Hornet or something like that. But really, this is about the same as everything else we've got. We've got a sack of potatoes. And we've got some wood, because they often are carrying items around as well. And that's an important part of the game. Early on when I first played, I I was wondering, like, how can I make more money to get my truck better? And there are a lot of different bits of, bits of trucks in the game. 
base bodies as well as uh, cabs and backs and everything like that. And uh, it, it isn't by raiding. I can tell you that much. It is by trading. That will get you quests and trading will get you the money you need. Just raiding around, you'll take more damage than you get back from any components or scrap you might find on the vehicle. And here we are. Now, over here, we have... You know, it says enemies with red dots. We have a green dot over here. Oh. Let's see what to do about this lady. Careful there. Don't be bumping me out of the way. Howdy, man. There's a, there you can see the mask a bit more clearly now in this shot. May I ask you a favour? Of course you may ask me a favour. I have business here and I need someone to show me the way around these lands. <laughs> it's none of your concern. I pay well to keep your mouth shut. Uh, are you in? Now the first time I played this, I was a bit suspicious. I've, I've never played the game before and this is all I'd, I'd seen about interaction with people apart from talking to Dad, so I was a bit suspicious. So, we'll say I'll help you. Now she's going to sit here, but before we do that now you can see we've got a purple quest over there, more than two kilometres away. Uh, we're going to do this one first and then go and help her out. She seems to have a very fancy car, she seems like. We're going to go over here first though. I think I don't think she'll vanish. We'll find out in a minute, won't we? Press the horn to go in here. This is a typical set settlement. And we've got a few places to go. We've got the bar to go to. We've got uh, a place to sell our stuff and better repair our car and buy new bits. So first of all, let's start the stuff we've got. Now, every settlement has one or two items they make in that place. So for example, here, you can see they're selling wood. So they make, they, they gather and make wood here. So we don't want to sell the wood here, because we won't get much for it. But we do want to sell the potatoes, because that would be worth a lot more. Buying potatoes in another place that makes them, you might buy them for like, you know, 40. We're selling them for a lot here, and there's no point having guns unless you're going to buy a better one. And generally speaking, a lot of these we can't use them anyway because they've got crosses on them. I can't afford it or it won't fit on my machine. But basically otherwise, I will find stuff to go along. There's no point trying to buy these as we go along. So that's it. We'll keep the wood for now. If I was desperate for money, I'd sell the wood. But we aren't. So we won't. Uh, I hope it's not too loud, by the way. This is the, one of the loudest parts of the game. We've got a bar. We've got the barman. Sergo the trader we need to trade with. Because that's Dad said the package for that. I bought you a package from Gluckho. Uh, it must be Peter's son. You've got it since I last saw you. I'll give you a hundred coins. There you go. We've traded it. Now, I'm pretty sure that Farmer Dick has a quest for us, which is to drive somewhere quickly. But if I I can't do that right now because I've got to drive off with uh, Alice. So we'll ignore him. He'll still be here. We'll come back and do a quest for him in a bit. Uh, if you say no to someone on the quest you will not get another chance to do it. Okay, that's it. Uh, <laughs> what is this? What's going on here? Any news? Nothing, no news, just general response. And while we're here, a little bit of fuel, and we can buy different parts for our vehicle, like a new front. But I don't think there's any point in doing this yet. It really be a, if I buy this one here, it would really be a slight improvement on what we have. And the same thing with back. So we're gonna save up our money, and we'll come back later. Can we buy a new vehicle? No, we've only got vans for sale here. Okay, let's go out and see if Alice is still waiting, and we'll see what quest she has for us. Is she still here? She is. Okay, now one second. Quick save. I don't know what's going to happen with Alice the Explorer here. I have no idea, but she's got a marker over here. This is not usually where we go to first. Um, this is um, a friendly transport. Farmers Union, I think the FU stands for. There's factions in the game, and you can be, you know, in different uh, stead with each faction. Alice, can you stop being so dumb, please? They are very dumb in the game, unfortunately. God, the AI are as thick as two planks. I don't think she can die, because she's, she's got a special looking vehicle, but she's also going to do very stupid things. We'll see if she dives in a drink up here. We're going to go over this way, though. This is not it's usually the second place I go to. Normally, I have to go back to Dad, but we'll go back this way first. And we'll see what's down here. Other towns. What are you doing, madam? Other towns in which to buy places. So like any trading game like this, like Elite Dangerous and others. Oh! Alice, can you shoot this fool, please? He's only a scout. We'll get him. There we go. What we got for him? 
We've got some potatoes. Excellent. That's how we make money. Anything like Elite Dangerous, we pick up scrap from and items from things we kill, and then we uh, we find other places to trade. We find the places where they're making stuff, and we find the places where we want to sell stuff. Okay, that's friendly. Another faction, by the bit. Maybe techies? Who are you guys from? Guard for the adventurer. Alice, will you, for heaven's sake? Um. A couple of things. So first of all, by buying and selling things, you do affect the the uh, the economy of the area. So repeatedly buying and selling things. There's people wandering around, by the way. Look, they are going to get themselves run over. Probably by Alice. Alice, please don't run them over. I know they're wandering around like idiots on the road, but there we go. Oh, friendly. Have a nice day. Yeah, he's friendly. Whoops! Nice little uh, leap you did there, sir. He's been down. He's been damaged. He's got wobbly wheels. Anything dangerous up here? He maybe killed something. Yeah. So could repeatedly buying and selling in the same places will give you diminishing returns. And now, where do you want to go? That way. Okay. Is that friendly down there? No, it's a vagabond. You're gonna die. Okay. Alice will hopefully get to him first. She's zooming in there. I think she fired a. She got like a no. Recoilless rocket or something there. What have you got there, madam? It's amazing. Spectre. Ooh. A new machine gun. It does the same thing. I'm not sure about this one. This one's got a double barrel on it, but I'm not sure if it does more damage. 600. It is a greater rate of fire. A, a same distance. Okay, yeah, we'll, um... We'll change that out. We couldn't do it because we've got a lack of inventory here. We've only got a bit of space. I think that's better, generally speaking. Does more, um... Yeah. Does more. Does more boom. Does more dacker. Yeah. The other thing is the uh, the guns will reload. There's no ammo for these guns. Here yeah, right I am. Tell. Does that mean something's coming? No. Off you go first, sir. You can go first. And if anyone, anything bad's over there, you can shoot them. They can deal with you first. Yeah, so ammo doesn't seem to be a worry until we get to more powerful weapons like rockets. Where are you? I can't see you. Oh, there you are. You've got no chance, mate. Versus three vehicles. <laughs> Harvesting items from near settlements where they're blowing up bandits is also very good. Is she still here? Here she is. But I've no idea what she wants to do. I think she just wants to go to this settlement over here. This is kind of potato land over here, I think. Yeah, this, this is where you usually buy and sell with potatoes from. It's not a bad little area. But secondary quests like we've got with Alice here, we need to get them done before we leave the area. So the next map, so I'm going to try and do as many as I can. Basically, I'll tour the bars. Uh, pick it up. Hot women. <laughs> tour the bars to hopefully get as much money, as much quests as possible. Careful, me! Oh, is that him? Okay. Wait here till I finish my business. Right, okay. It's like a like a guarded tutorial, like we're gonna be safely Let's guarded go. around the area. Because these guys are friendly. Um, before you go, Alice, hold on a second. Uh, can we trade with this lot? We've got Trader Go Go. Uh no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to take any quests yet, because I have to say no to them. We'll ignore all these fellas here. Yeah, they're selling potatoes. So there's no point selling potatoes here, because we only get 24 for them. But we can probably get like 200 from somewhere else. So the price here is 24. Okay, I wonder if that's going to be the average price. The wood, though, they do want the wood. And they can have my gun. So we're up to 1,300 quid already, which is pretty good. We could buy one more lot of potatoes, but first of all, though, we took some damage. Some shoot damage along the way, that's fine. Uh, don't worry about that. Is there anything good to buy? No, apparently not. It's so obviously the settlement's too small for me to buy anything like a truck in here, which is kind of a shame. And I doubt these will be any good. This is what I've got already. Yeah, okay, that, that'll do. Let's go and follow, follow Alice again then, wherever the heck she's gone to. There she is. She won't have gone very far. Honestly, they really are complete idiots. What are you doing? Don't don't bang into me, right? 
you know, I think she's like a guided first quest. She's going to be, you know, a powerful companion's going to take you around the stuff. The wolf is on fire. To show you the, if he says so, it, to show you the ropes. Oh. I can't be. Perfect. Okay, we've got a couple of bandits having a go. She's straight in there, through the fence. I'm not a full party. Wow, okay. I don't think there's XP in the game. You picked up a... Thanks for that. You picked up a useless, useless hornet with a truncated barrel. And one without cooling. Right, well she's going to make make her way back over that way. Meanwhile, we will, um, we will partly wreck the town by driving through the fences. <laughs> and go and sell these off. Not for very much. No? There we go. This is what I mean. It's a very relaxing game, isn't it? It's not demanding at all. That one does terrible damage. We took a little bit of damage from driving through things. Okay. Back to Alice chasing again. Where has she gone to? I don't think you want to go that way, Alice. I really don't. Where are you? Oh, Christ, I've lost her. If she gets too far away... I'll lose the quest. Oh no. Where is she? Just driving through the crops. I'm sure that's not a problem. Oh heck. Have I lost it? Has she gone? I don't think she wants to go this way. Oh no, she is. Oh, she's. She, okay, she's there. Right, okay. I think we've got to go back and round. Right, where are you going? <laughs> Oh, something else went boom. Don't get distracted, me. I want to go and loot stuff. Oh, I've got to work out where she wants to go. We want to go this way, don't we? Don't we want to go this way? Hello? You following me? Okay, well... No? Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, oh, okay. We're going to Gugliano, or whatever it is. That's very rude. I have you know I've got a perfectly formed S. And it certainly isn't made of any sort of vegetation. 